Wesley with ExpandaCraft once again. We are um, testing out the prototype um, pedal drive. And remember, this is a prototype. This is not what it's going to look like when it's on the showroom. So come in and let me uh, give you kind of a short tour. Now I've chosen here, if you'll see, this is billet aluminum with a belt drive. It's much quieter than chain. And um, this is American made uh, one to one gear that changes at 90 degrees. And we're blocking things up again. This is a prototype, um, just kind of really rough. Uh, but we are going to stick with the aluminum and belt drive with this American made uh, gearing. We go to a shaft here, and if you pin down down low, you'll see that goes to a stainless universal joint, which goes back to a flexible shaft. Now, you come back here, and this is a plunging, kind of like a dagger board, that goes down, I'm going to pull it back even further, so that when you're fully deployed, I'll go and run the uh, mechanism, and your propeller turns. Now, a couple of quick things. This is not my propeller. This is just there for static display. We're going to do some testing. I have other propellers that we're going to try out. And um, we're also going to experiment with the possibility of having the propeller on a rudder so that the propeller turns with the rudder instead of having to have a rudder behind the propeller. That way, you'll be able to turn and steer with the thrust. So if you're standing still, you can go forward a little bit, turn it, go back a little bit, and you should be able to spin this thing around on its axis. Now what this allows you to do, and again this is the prototype, you'll notice as I come up, the propeller is going to come back a little bit. But being that this is a catamaran, you'll notice, let's see, this is right about, this is about at the uh, bottom mount. So this is where the dirt would be, the bottom. But you would still have some propelling going forward, even in super shallow water. Um, it will cavitate a little bit, but you'll still have some propulsion to go forward. None of my competition has that kind of capability. A lot of the other drive units, they're either all the way down or all the way out. And they're down about 18, 19 inches. This will allow you to actually pedal through three or four inches of water. And then as you get a little deeper, you put it a little further down, you put it a little further down until it's fully deployed, fully underwater and not cavitating, and should be much shallower than uh, the ones that go underneath a monohull style kayak because I'm splitting the difference with uh, catamaran hulls. The propeller can be much closer to the surface of the water. Now, uh, come in closer, let me show you. I'm gonna say again, this is a prototype. This is not made to be pretty. It's just made to go together. This is a blade, if you will, that's going to go in. We're going to have these made um, nice, neat, and lightweight. And of course, the, the rudder box, or the plunging rudder box, will probably go off of the end. And so that'll give you this much more deck area to use. Now, here's what I need from you guys, because this will work with a rudder behind it. If we put this behind here and do the rudder that steers it, that's certainly uh, a very valuable thing. It's also a little expensive. That's going to bump the cost about $300 um, to do that. So I want your opinions. Guys, tell me, do you not mind it being a fixed prop with a, propel, uh, with a rudder behind it? Or would you pay the extra 300 bucks to have this mechanism move off of the deck and actually move this way and that? You'll be less drag in the straightaway because you won't have the plunging operation and a rudder as well. So let me know what you think before we go to uh, market with this and, and get everything together. Is $300 too much to pay for the steering with thrust? And uh, I'd be looking forward to hearing from you. Visit us at expandacraft.com and hope to see you on the water soon.